A community is a common heartbeat. A place where children grow and dream. Where parents nurture. Where families unite. It is a connected group of people with completely different pasts that call each other neighbor. This is our community, but many of the people who live amongst us are hurting, in desperate need of care. There is a place founded in the 1960s dedicated to do just that. Health centers were started as part of the Johnson administration's war on poverty and were designed to you know, provide a safety net and, and provide care to people who otherwise really just could not access it. As a community health center, our doors are open to anyone and everyone, regardless of their ability to pay. So we have people who are in a lower economic status, we have people who are underrepresented minorities, but we also have people that live in the community that want to come here because they know that all of their needs are going to be met in one place. Like every great movement, community health centers are facing serious challenges. As the health problems in our communities continue to rise, the health centers are struggling to effectively recruit and retain physicians and nurse practitioners. In January 2011, Robert Kraft and his family donated a significant gift to address this problem at its core. A gift that would set up a plan to increase the number of healthcare professionals in these health centers first starting in Boston, then moving nationally. Unfortunately, there are too many people who are unemployed and uh, quality of life here in America is pretty important. Uh, I think we, we're privileged to live in the greatest country on the planet and I think there are certain privileges and benefits that should come with that and uh, one is equal access to health care. With the Kraft gift, the Kraft Center for Community Health was born. Its program set up to get doctors and nurses training in health policy and leadership, in addition to giving relief on medical and nursing school loans. From there, these leaders will be sent out to the community health centers to serve and improve the health of the community for years to come. What we will do is partner our academic medical centers who have a centuries-long history of attracting spectacular young people and creating pathways of mentorship and nurturance right into the community health centers. It's the opportunity that students will have and that practitioners will have to come to a community health center, have some debt relieved, and, and to be able to do the work that they want to do. To really make this the place that people want to come and stay long term, um, you know, we need to do a little bit more and the Craft Center is really going to be instrumental in helping us to do that. The passion of the crafts and this investment will transform community health care for people at greatest need in this country. It will take the great model of community health centers and allow them to grow and evolve in a way in which they inform the rest of care in this country. So what's next? Well, the opportunity is in our hands. Help is needed to sustain and grow the quality of care in health centers nationwide. Whether we're a doctor or nurse, a potential donor, or simply someone who wants to serve, it starts with us. We can plant the seed of hope through our help and watch it grow into a healthier tomorrow. Because the future health of our communities is still waiting to be written.
very excited about the potential of this program and being able to service all Americans. And that's good for everybody. The Craft Center for Community Health. Everyone deserves quality health care.